Hi, everyone. Welcome to Spring 2017 Financial Management. Uh, first, I want to apologize for the course getting a late start. I didn't find out uh, that I was going to be teaching this course until last Friday. So I am worked as hard as I could to get the course up and running by Monday. So it is now. And I wanted to make this video just to give you guys an overview of how the course is set up in Canvas. So when you first log on to the course, this is what you will see. Uh, this is uh, what we call, what I call the student view. So I'm, you're, I'm seeing here what you will see on your uh, Canvas. So the, th the only thing I wanted to point out about this home pages. Well, one thing is that it's I designed it so that you wouldn't have any uh, question on what course you were actually on. <laughs> and the other thing is um, Canvas is designed so the upcoming uh, assignments are over here on the right, but I'm also going to keep this current things to do list right here that will give you uh, will let you know as soon as you log into the course what you should be doing or working on week to week in the course. Uh, as, you, as you can see, I've got uh, this uh, a directive right here. View this video to get an overview of how the course is set up in Canvas. See below link. Well, the link's not there yet because I'm working on that right now. Okay, so this is your what I call the start here page or the home page of, your, uh, of our uh, course. And I'm just going to run through these menu items. Uh, the first one you see here is announcements. And that's just simply what it says it is, is announcements. And I've got one up here now, a welcome, a welcome announcement uh, that has a lot of the same information as your syllabus uh, that I, hopefully you've already read it. I also I sent the syllabus as well as the course uh, calendar out to everybody in an email. Uh, but the, the important thing here is it is it. It's another uh, place where you can see how to get your two required uh, books, which hopefully you have by now. You can get these uh, uh, books uh, in in the electronic version instantaneously. So hopefully you you have both the textbook and the book, the triple bottom line. Okay, so that's uh, the announcement. Uh, 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 the announcement tab in course menu. Next is probably the most important one, and that is your assignments. And they're going to be right here listed week to week. Now, if you go up here in the right-hand corner and you click type, you'll get this week to week, uh, sort of a week to week organization of, of uh, your assignments. If you click on a date, you get pretty much the same th thing. But it's just, I think it's just easier to read and to see if you just stick with uh, type. And then, and then you can see, uh, I've only got the week one and week two uh, up right now. I, I will have week three up here uh, shortly, and they'll become, all your uh, weekly assignments will become, uh, uh, will, 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 will become available on uh, Canvas uh, midnight uh, Sunday night. Uh, a 12.01 a.m. Monday morning, the, the week that they're going to be due. Okay, so you'll have a whole week to do each of your uh, uh, three weekly assignments. Okay, let's just go, now let's just look at the next menu item, which is uh, discussions. And so every week you'll have a online a discussion, and I'll just click on the one for week two, so you can see what that's going to look like. Based on the book, the triple bottom line. And so you'll have the prompt here, and I'm just going to ask you, I'm always going to ask you to write between 400 and 600 words in your in your initial post responding to the prompt uh, that I have for you here. And then I want you to, uh, sometime during the, the week after you've uh, posted, after you've uh, submitted here your uh, your uh uh, your initial 400 to 600 uh, words uh, responding to the prompt, I want you to respond to at least two of your classmates' uh, posts. And if you look at the rubric, uh, which you can go to this little wheel at the top right hand up here and go show rubric, click on show rubric, you'll see how I'm going to grade it. 
Um, so it's uh, very important that you that you uh, meet all the requirements of the rubric. And probably the one that gets probably is the, the hardest is this idea that I want you to submit your first post, submit uh, your uh, your initial, you know, long post responding to the prompt early in the week, th uh, Thursday at the at the latest. And, and the rationale behind that is, is that if you don't, if you wait until Sunday, when this uh, discussion is due to write your initial post, then none of your classmates are going to have uh, a chance or an opportunity to respond to you. So in order for this to be, in order to get uh, the engagement that you want to have in a discussion, then it's very important that everyone submit your initial uh, uh, post as early as possible in the week. Okay? So that's your uh, discussions, and you'll get one of those uh, every week based on a, a chapter in this book, The uh, Triple Bottom Line. So that's why it's very, very important that you have that book now. Uh, the next tab is going to be your uh, grades, and since I'm on the account for the test student, I just put in some uh, f fake uh, grades here for the first uh for uh, the, the week one and the week two uh, assignments, which are there are uh, six in uh, total. Now, as I said in the uh, syllabus, which I, I didn't sh show you that, but you, sh you should have this. At the top of the schedule here, you can see very clearly that because we got a, a late start, week one assignments are optional. So I'm not going to count that in your uh, grade at all. But I just countered it here in the uh, test uh, student so you can see how it's going to look for you. So it's just going to basically be a point system. You have a chance to earn 100 points every week. And uh, uh, depending on how many points out of the 100 that you earn, that's going to be your, uh, the, your actual grade. So, uh, for example, here I just only gave this test uh, student 30 out of 40 for the two quizzes. So at this point, his or her grade average is 90. So you'll have a running a great average uh, all during the semester. So there'll be no a mystery or a guessing on what your grade is at any given time during the course. Okay. Now, my policy is that uh, you can turn you can turn assignments in late if you need to. All of these all of these assignments are going to be available all the way until the end of the semester, May 15th. However, I highly, highly encourage you to keep up and not get behind. It, it, it'll be very difficult to catch up with you know, this work if you get too far behind. And the other thing I wanted to point out that you should have read in the syllabus, if you read down here when I talk about the policy for grades, um, if you're able to submit all of your assignments on time during the entire semester, I will add three full points to your final grade average. So that's my incentive built in for you to try to keep up, try as hard as you can to turn uh, your assignments in by their due date, which is always going to be a Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Okay, so and then the and then the final course menu item I, I want to do uh, show you here is the, is uh, people, which is just simply a course uh, a class a roster, so you can see who all your classmates are, and you can correspond with them from here. Okay, um, let's jump back to assignments, and I just wanted to show you how these are going to work. So I'm going to open up chapter uh, let's, let's let's go to chapter two since you actually have to do chapter two so let's open up chapter two assignments and look at them so here's chapter one a problem so you're, you're, you're going to get a chapter two uh, uh, chapter two overview which is a powerpoint of the uh, chapter sort of a chapter uh, a summary now I'm going to I have I have uh, given you guys the first two chapters of the book because we got started so late, but I'm not going to be able to give you any more than that because that's a copyright 
that's a copyright violation. So after chapter two, you won't ever you won't see uh, the chapter of the book here. Uh, you should have that on your own. I just want to make sure you would know that. Now, what you'll the actual uh, the actual the actual assignment is the, is the chapter two of problem. So when you open that up, uh, it looks like this right here. And this is a design so you can only type in the in the boxes, so that you you know. And so th these uh, these actual problems are in the book, and you'll write your your uh, you'll write the answers in the text box here. So you just simply type 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 like like that. Um, now, uh, as we get into the uh, of course, you're going to be doing part of your problems and your quizzes on, in a text document like this, and you'll be doing part of them on a spreadsheet that I will have for you to download. And the other thing I wanted to you know, tell you is that I'll be making and uh, posting videos explaining to you guys how to do the problems on the uh, spreadsheet. So if, as, as long as you uh, read the uh, chapters and watch the uh, videos, you should not have any problems. Okay. Now, when you uh, finish this, you can simply uh, save it as a, a, a PDF a, a document and then uh, submit it, and then uh, uh, submit it, which I believe you do by uh, clicking on, yeah, you uh, click on this blue box right here to uh, submit your uh, document. Now, if you, it, it will not, it will not, Accept it in a word. So you need to make sure that you uh, save it as a PDF in order to get it to uh, submit. Now your quizzes um, are here. So let me open that up. I think I, I already have. Let me just okay. So your quizzes look like this. Here's your a rubric. I think let me just jump back here to your to your assignment. Where, where did it go? Right here. No, that's the quiz. Du -du -du -du. Well, let me just. Open it up here. Okay, so you should have, um, yeah. So here's the, it's a very a, a simple rubric, uh, and, and you can see it here. That that's what I'm going to use for, for a grading. So let's go back to your quiz. Now, when you download the quiz right here, it's going to look pretty much the same as your assignments. You just simply type in your answers in, in uh, the boxes, save it as a, a PDF, and uh, submit it. And once again, as we get into the course, you'll be doing part of the quiz on a document and part of the quiz on a spreadsheet. And we'll and, and I'll always post uh, videos, uh, you know, explaining how that's going to work and how to actually work through the uh, problems. Okay, so those are the two assignments, and I think I've already showed you what the what the discussions look like right here. You just simply put in your post right down here where it says reply. Now, what I do uh, s uh, sometimes sometimes is I write my uh, post in a in a Word a document where I can uh, where where it's easier to edit, and then I just uh, copy and uh, paste it into the uh, into the uh, box right here into the uh, discussion uh, threads. Okay, I believe that pretty much covers the basics of how the course is set up. Always, 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 if you have any questions or concerns ever, please send me, don't, don't, don't hesitate at all to send me an email, and I will answer you promptly. Uh, my policy is that I try as hard as I can to answer all, all of your, all of your, all of your, emails within a 24 hours okay all right 